Yeah, welcome back to the introduction to Audacity uh, part two, where we look at actually editing, having got a basic sort of sound that you want to edit. Part of what you can see on the screen needs to be edited away because it's junk. So just select it in the normal way. And you'll notice that you can, once you've got a selection, and if it's not quite the way you like it, you can hover the mouse over the edge of the selection and you get the this like pointy finger so you can just sort of sneak it further in or further out as it were from where you want it and then if you just want to kill it hit delete key obviously we're going to want to get rid of our silence because that was just for doing the noise removal which we've done we've removed the noise again this is probably a good time to save your project give it a sensible name and uh, you know I'm not going to bother here because it doesn't matter if it crashes but save it keep saving as you go uh, although audacity is pretty solid i have to say and i don't have problems with it but nonetheless you might uh, find that you're in a situation where you're playing the sound which by the way you can play with a space bar every time you press the space bar it will stop and then when you press it again it will start again so you sometimes want to pause and that you can do with p or up here you've got a play and that's pause if now you decide you want to delete, so you've got this, this selection here, you want to delete it, hit the delete key and nothing happens. And that's because pause is selected. It has to be in stop in order for the delete key to work. Again, if I'd have seen that, oh, that would have saved me hours of fiddling around. The next thing is quite often you, you'll find that you've got a little bit of a section here that you're not sure if it's quite the right time to say that bit that you want to say or something like that. In any case, you want to um, take it out. If you just take that selection and do Control Alt I, it will create a new track, which again, if we use the Control Shift F, it will fit the tracks um, so that we can see everything. Um, again, the Control F, Control Shift F, do it again control f because we chopped away some stuff it just means that you can see so much more of what's going on and you can just keep hopping in and out of that so here we are we've got this section and actually we want to rearrange things so what we want to do is we want to select this one by the way if you double click any kind of recorded area it will take that just that selection so I can now do that again, that Control alt i again, and create yet another um, track. And again, using the Control shift f that will just let me see everything I've got there. And I've got then, you know, these in a particular order, uh, and oh, that's wow. the order. And away you go. go. You just, just press, press record, record, and away, away you go. go. Key tip, though, is... And that's the recording that we we've got but it might be and if you're like me um, I waffle a lot as you've probably noticed and I find I need to <clears throat> rearrange things and chop things about and a really useful thing is if you just want to move this track up you can just drag in this sort of area here where the details are and then move and it will change the order of the tracks so we can change it so this is the bit that's first that's the bit that's second and that's the bit that's third but there's a lovely automatic way of doing control a selects everything tracks align tracks align end to end and then that just means that one's first, that one's that. And then it just saves a lot of fiddling around, I find. <laughs> the kind of fiddling around you'd have to do is with this time shift tool. So you can drag a bit of sound and move it around. What's nice is that it does automatically butt up. You know, you get that yellow line showing actually those are aligned. Um, so, yeah, I want that there, that one there, and now that one there, which is not the order they're recorded, but it's the order that I want. So that's just my kind of quick and dirty few things that I wish I'd known when trying to work with Audacity uh, right in the very beginning. Hope you have fun. Cheers.